Walmart twice in one week? You betcha. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Coupon Wins with Lens. I'm out here grinding this week because we are so close to getting monetized on this channel and I totally want that to happen. So I'm here bringing you another video so you can see how you can save at Walmart this week. I got a huge bonus from Ibotta. So let's get in store, see what we can grab using coupons. I only have about two coupons that I'm planning on using today so you can get the same savings as me. We're gonna use the coupons.com app, Shopkick, Fetch, and Ibotta today to save money and get cash back on all the things we're gonna buy. I'm so excited to bring you this haul. So let's get in the store and get to saving. We got that $10 March bonus. Mine is only for 20 offers, which is crazy. Usually Ibotta does not do me so good, but I'll enjoy it as we shop today. I started off in the clearance section. There was lots of camping items as well as blankets and a humidifier that's half off, which is pretty good. So if you're looking for that, make sure you check the clearance section. I didn't find a ton, but I did find a couple of things. Also, those markers are awesome. I love them. So I will share my clearance finds at the end of the video. My store is pretty weird on clearance. So it has little mini clearance sections all throughout the store, not just one aisle. So I found another end cap and I was checking here and I found some other stuff that I'll also share at the end of the video. There was also a mountain of crock pots for $20. So if you need one, check your store. It's more than 50% off, so a good find. Remember those color changing cups that were so hard to find? Well, my store stocked and they're only $5.76, so keep your eyes out. The first deal I was going to pick up was a repeat deal on the Degree Women's and Men's Deodorants. Both of them are priced at $4.97. We have $2 off one coupons that we can use on each of them, bringing them down to $2.97 each, which you would pay at the register. I bought a had a rebate for $1.25 and Shopkick had a rebate for 800 kicks. But make sure you scan in store because my I bought a rebate disappeared. So I had to put these items back. I've done this deal as well one time, but I did it a little different because once you use coupons on coupons.com, you cannot use them again. So this time I picked up the women's max recovery wipes for $5.97 and the men's max recovery body wash for $5.47. We have $2 coupons that you can activate on coupons.com for each of them, giving back $4 total, as well as Ibotta giving back $2 on each of them and Shopkick giving back 750 kicks for skin kicks and buy kicks, bringing these all the way down to 48 cents for both or 24 cents each. If you have these 150 off of one paper coupons for Suave Men Hair Care, these Suave Men 2-in-1 Hair Care are 188. You can pick up one of them, use a coupon, making it only 38 cents for one, but check your Fetch Rewards account I had 750 kicks back on one I had already redeemed for the other four. So this was a little money maker for me. Next to the Suave, way up high, there was Dial Clean and Gentle. I picked up one of them because there's a $1.50 on Ibotta. And remember when I called Dial, they sent me this little fancy coupon for a free product on any one Dial product. So let's see if it scans at checkout, making this a $1.50 money maker. It's only going to get a little cheesy today because I'm only picking up one box of mac and cheese. Annie's mac and cheese is a dollar and I bought it's going to give me back 20 cents, making it only 80 cents. Another little clearance section. I hope my husband doesn't watch this because he's probably going to be mad at me for not picking up this $15 Nutra Bullet. It was actually really pretty. I should have grabbed it. I just didn't. I don't know. Should I have picked it up? Let me know in the comments. I did, however, pick him up two of these C4 drinks. These used to be on Ibotta, but my store has them on clearance for 55 cents each. If you like cottage cheese, my store has a whole bunch of it for a dollar. I am not a cottage cheese girl, but Chobani flips, I do like. Ibotta is going to give back $1.22 on two of these, so basically half off. And there's a 10 cent yogurt offer that will count towards my bonus. So I'm going to pick up two of these, pay full price at checkout, but Ibotta will give me back $1.22 plus 10 cents, making them only 55 cents each. 
Looky, looky what it is. Core bars. Do you think I'm going to grab some? Comment now before you know. Even if you're not sure I'm going to pick up core bars, you know I'm going to pick up Power and Ultra. It's a dollar giving back 20 cents and I'm going to get it until it expires. My store actually has a freebie. I thought this was the only one and I was kind of disappointed because I wanted a different flavor, but I picked it up until I looked up and I found the mother load. I found this triple shot energy zero vanilla flavor. So I picked it up. It's $2.68 and I bought it's going to give me back $2.68 making it completely free after the offer. I found this hang tag for save a dollar when you buy two bolt 24 and I know we had a rebate on Ibotta for $0.25. Cents. The rebate only works on one, but I picked up two of them so I could use the coupon. Pay $1.56 at checkout, get back $0.25, cents, making it only $0.65 cents for each of these bold drinks. Sunmade Bites are buy one, get one free at Publix this week, but I completely forgot to grab them. So I'm going to pick them up at Walmart, pay $2.44, get back $0.75, cents, making them only $1.69 for the bag, and they're addicting. Guys, make sure you're scanning on Ibotta when you're in the store. When I planned this trip, the Laughing Cow blends were free after offer, but I scanned them when I was in the store after I put them in my cart, and the offer had disappeared. How disappointing. I wanted to try these and I couldn't even pick them up because there was no offer attaching on the app. So my store did not have the right Shea Moisture products for the deal that Coupon Jer posted on his Instagram. I was so excited to pick it up, but go check out his post to see this amazing deal. So instead, I guess I'll pick up the Skin Complexion Bar again from Palmer's. I kind of like it, so I'm not mad. It's $2.47, giving back $1.50 on Ibotta, making it only $0.97. Cents. I really do try to find new finds when I'm at the store. Vienna Chickpea Snacks are kind of pricey at $3.12, but Ibotta's going to give me back a dollar to try them, so I'm going to do that. There's also an offer on Raisinets. I was looking in this little boxed candy section and I wasn't sure. Oh, there they are. I found them. They're 98 cents. I bought it's going to get back 25 cents. So I put them in my cart. This so delicious shelf stable milk is $1.96. I bought it's going to give back 75 cents. And I saw a hack on an Aldi account where you add this like strawberry and cream drink to make it like a pink drink. I'm going to try it. King Arthur Flower is $3.68, giving back $1.50 on Ibotta, and this is an item you always need in your pantry. I found the Lenny and Larry Boss Cookie, but it's just the pack, and I don't want to spend that much money. I wanted the single so I could get it free after offer, so check your store. Hopefully, someone will find it. You guys probably think I have stock and healthy choice. I don't, but it's giving back 50% on Ibotta and I busted one of my bottles on the ground the other day. So I'm gonna get this one to replace it. I just wanted to show you that there's tons of clearance on the condiment aisle. So if you need any of these items, check your store because these are great prices. If you've been using Ibotta for a while, tell me down below how many Hellman sauces you have. I was cracking up to see them on clearance. Always picking up the Zings at the last minute. They're a dollar giving back 50 cents, and I think that's a great offer. Here's what I paid after coupons at checkout. If you're wondering, she did have to type in the dial coupon, but she was actually nice, which is exciting for once. I also got good feedback that you like to see me redeeming for offers. So here's my Ibotta. As well as coupons.com, they make you verify the barcode. So you see the degree and then the other degree. I thought the Palmer's was going to apply to the $1 coupon. However, it didn't. So I just pressed forward and submitted my receipt. I'll get the $4 straight to my PayPal account in a matter of hours. We also use Shopkick. So I'm Submitting my receipt for the degree products here. I'll just scan my receipt. I usually take two photos because I want them to see everything. And you can see that my kicks did come through before I posted this video. Last but not least was Fetch. We use lots of rebate apps today. So check the description for all of my links for bonuses when you sign up. 
Fetch will send off your receipt for a little bit and tell you how many points you got back. Mine only said 60, so I was very confused. I scrolled down to find the offer that I was trying to submit for, saw that it was still available, so I corrected my receipt and they gave me back the points. All right, I got some new items to try today, which I'm very excited about. I got a face mask. Future me, just seeing that I never showed you that I picked up a face mask. It was $2.50, giving back a dollar on Ibotta, and it tracked towards a bonus, so I gave it a try. Let's get back to the video. I got another one of these bar soaps that I got the other day because it's actually really good. Um, I did the degree deal again because I had women's products and I wanted a men's body wash and I got women's last time. And so I got men's, I switched them. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, I did get a couple of repeat items, but I got new items like the Starbucks free after offer, the Bienna. I got the Raisinets. And of course I had to get the healthy choice because what you don't know is I literally opened my pantry yesterday and one of them hit the ground and they're glass. So it busted into a million pieces and got all over my kitchen, which was awesome. So I replaced it today at Walmart. Um, for all of these items, it totaled me about $53.01 before coupons. I used about $7.98 worth of coupons. I'm going to show you on my receipt in just a second. I paid $45.03 and I got back a total of $40.60. So let me show you how that broke down on my receipt. All right, the first thing I got was the So Delicious Coconut Milk. I also bought that strawberries and cream uh, flavored water that I showed you because I saw on an Aldi account that you can make like a Starbucks faux pink drink. So I'm going to try that and let you know on Instagram. So follow me over there. I got the Annie's Mac and Cheese because I'm tracking towards that bonus. The Zings, because I think that's a good bonus, the dollar, and you get 50 cents back. Good thing for your buck. I got the Raisin Nets because uh, it's also a good deal. The Bienna was something I wanted to try. They were kind of expensive, but I was tired of getting some of the same offer, so I switched it up this time. I got the Sun Made Bites, which <laughs> will always get those. I love them. Uh, there's my Degree Women's and Men's Products. That was a Shopkick deal. Uh, the Suave Men's gave me back 75 cents on Fetch. I was only able to get 75 cents one time because I would already uh, redeemed four other times, apparently. I thought I'd only redeemed twice, but, you know. The soap, the peel-off mask. There were some that were on clearance for 50 cents, and they, my store said they had them in stock, but I could not find them, so I just went with this one because why not? I got the, uh, the Dial Body Wash, the Powerade Ultra, the two bolts, there was a peely, there was a hang tag coupon, so I used that and I got two. I only got 25 cents back on one though, but I thought that was a good deal if I got a dollar off two. Uh, the Starbucks freebie, the Fit Aid, which is $2.48 giving back $2, great deal. The Chobani Flips, which was a double offer because of the indie brand yogurt offer, and then the flour. All of my coupons came off fine except for that dial coupon that dial sent me because my other coupon did not work, which is kind of funny that their coupon didn't work. So they sent me another coupon and then that one didn't work. But I hit the jackpot. The girl who was working self-checkout, who was basically on her way out for her break, came over and she was like, uh, I don't understand why it's not working. And I told her the situation and she was like, my family coupons too. This coupon isn't expired. I'm not sure why it's not working. I'm going to give it to you, which never happens at my store. They never push coupons through. Even when you get a customer service manager, anybody will never, no one will push it through. You saw in my Walmart her a couple weeks ago that no one pushes things through. So lucky for me, she was there. Um, and then I messed up. I could not get my card to slide in right, but it finally worked out. I paid $45.03. I got back a total of $21.25 for the offers on Ibotta. And then I got back a $10 bonus as well as a $1 March level two bonus. Coupons.com gave me back $4 for the two degree products. And Fetch gave me back 80 cents. Shopkick also gave me back 740 kicks for scanning and buying the degree. 
I also got 50 kicks back for scanning free deodorant, but then it wasn't on I bought anymore. So I'm still gonna count that in because I did scan them for that. I got back $3.16 from shop. That makes my grand total for all these items just $4.82 or 21 cents an item, which is amazing because I got expensive things as well as new things I wanted to try. So let me know what you were able to score at Walmart this week. I am so close to hitting 4,000 watch hours, which is why I did the second Ibotta haul because you guys seem to love those. Stay tuned on my channel. I might be doing Dollar Tree. Let I'm me not. know what videos you want to see. I will still keep CVS, Walgreens, Target, and Walmart on my list, but I want to give you guys what you want. So comment down below what videos you want to see. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Also, if you made it to the end, you can see my clearance finds. This is regularly like $9. This is regularly like $37. And I think this is like $4 maybe. This was, this rang it up for $1.50. This was $3 and this was $15. You can see it right here in my receipt. I also got that strawberry drink to try and those C4s that I showed you. I also got some plates and bowls, but those were not on sale. Hey, let's go throw the ball.